Major combat operations in Iraq have ended. Same crime. In the Battle of Iraq. Different time. The United States and our allies. King George. Have prevailed. He's back to bomb Iraq, despite how the world reacts. So now the media gets greedy and controls the facts. That makes you wonder if them facts are so white and black. The much grayer. Say your prayers, George. He doesn't want calm. He wants to bring this generation to, to the, the next, next Vietnam, Vietnam and content to let what's gone by be bygones until he turned Baghdad into Saigon. The bombs they drop don't stop to Saddam gone, choked, <laughs> rotten from the hangman's tourniquet. In case y'all forgotten, he's the Bin Laden surrogate. See, Osama, he's Brad Rabbit, the Bride Patch. That's a rack. He masterminded an attack to get us to fight back. He prayed on the fact we wouldn't think, just react like a little kid who's been slapped, angry, lashing out at the bully who taunts us. We go forward not knowing we're going just where he wants us. There's ghosts all around now, but they're not here to haunt us. They're here to beg us to do better than the people who wronged us. They warn us. The greatest trick the devil ever conceived is make the people believe that what they strive to achieve, that's connected to the bliss that God wants to exist while the devil sits back laughing, crossing things off his list, saying, God, I got him duped. <laughs> I think they're talking to you. I got him eager to do everything I need him to. They go to war for peace, make love with hate. They kill to protect life, and if they don't feel safe, then they surround themselves with danger. There is no danger left. How could you create life on a foundation of death? At least 53,000 dead and rising. Countless numbers in the hospital. We've gone from mission accomplished to mission impossible to somebody. Please tell me the mission that we're on. Tell me we haven't spent the last six years going wrong. The good name of America that's entirely gone. In the eyes of the world, we're just as bad as Saddam. There's a chess game being played and it's been played for too long. And I'm afraid because our king is starting to look like their pawn. And Osama's happy to keep playing because he's praying for both sides because to the victor goes the genocide. So he doesn't care who gets it. He brazenly admits it. He's happy in the bride patch. He's daring us to visit. His mission was to make America his accomplice. If we don't end the war in Iraq now, the mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Not quite the case. So this is your chance to replace Bush's mission with one of your choice. The winning voice will be a bumper sticker for your car or your truck. Just go to tellusthemission.com. Good luck.